Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Robberon here again, and we've watched and gone over the Ermac Movado trailer quite a few times now, and it is pretty crazy, but I want to talk about specifically Movado, because of course, Ermac is amazing, cool, crazy combos and ridiculous stuff, but Movado is also something, something unique about him as a cameo. Of course, as a DLC, he's gonna have some DLC treatment, people already love him for various reasons. But his gameplay is pretty interesting as well. He's unique in the fact that every move he has seems to be an ambush, and they seem to be pretty powerful looking ambush attacks. We don't get to see exactly how they work, like on block and stuff, but the combo extensions we see him doing are pretty ridiculous. And not only does he have, you know, classic ambush combos and stuff, which, you know, we get to showcase a little bit here, but he even has things like traps, like combo extending ambush traps, which is ridiculous to me. So let's just go over all the things we see in this trailer for him. So at the start, we see in this first combo here with Ermac, he gets used as a combo extender with this interesting kind of drop kick in from behind. Ermac does this kind of launching knee and he just comes flying in from the other side. And is a little bit of a extender and his extenders seem pretty good in the way that they're not like Sonya or Chameleon Melina and like side tosses where the opponent kind of just gets launched further away by an ambush attack he comes in and always brings the opponent either closer to you or just bounces them on the spot which is really handy because the way that a lot of ambush attacks blast the opponent away can make combo extensions a little bit restrictive for certain characters but this seems so strong so like we see this double knee, he's in the air, and Movado comes in, boom, flying kick, and just brings Shao Kahn right back in for Ermac to do like a standing one. A lot of the time when you do ambush things, the opponent isn't close enough to go for a standing one or something, so that is really cool. We get to see some more juice of him here in the next combo. So he uses grappling hooks there to kind of flying kick in from behind, but he can also flying kick in from above. And this also seems really good, just in a similar way as before, when the opponent is airborne, you have these great ways of bouncing the opponent, either closer towards you or on the spot, so they're not flying away, you can get great combo extensions of anything that puts the opponent in the air, so like, a down two, any special move that puts the opponent in the air or string, it's just a really powerful thing that ambush cameos do, but having it do this is even more powerful because that's why people use uh, cameos like Scorpion because Scorpion can actually ambush and bring the opponent towards you with his Hellblast fire breath thingy and Movado seems like he can just do that as well he doesn't have the multi-hitting long stunning stuff like Janet or Scorpion but hopefully it's good enough to be universe of universally useful for a lot of characters so, so far two ambushes that seem like great combo extensions and what is unique about this especially the drop down one like he goes from the the roof to the floor so surely that's going to hit a blocking opponent as well it's not like it's kano knives or something or a sonya square wave where the opponent or even a jack scrab where the opponent's completely immune to this ambush attack this is something that is going to hit a grounded opponent i imagine and bounce airborne opponents so it's kind of like i don't know like a goro Goro up punch or something, but it wouldn't even be a high. It's got to be a mid or an overhead or something Which is crazy because you know a lot of cameo stuff like that gets nerfed because it is clearly really strong Because you can use it in pressure and combo extensions in the same way so that It, it, it seems like it's gonna be strong <laughs> We also get to see Ermac walks forward here and goes for a forward throw bringing out Movado flying in and going for the classic grapple kick This next move we see of Movado's is actually completely crazy or completely boring, I have no idea. So it's this weird thing, Ermac goes for this string that leaves the opponent on the floor. So they've grounded in Mortal Kombat, that basically almost always means that you can't hit the opponent. When the opponent lands, they're invincible, they're waking up, you've dropped your combo. But Movado just comes in here and kicks Kung Lao, so how does that work? Either this is a crazy ambush OTG, which means any time you finish your combo, you didn't kill the opponent, you can just, oh, summon that in, he does an extra kick, the opponent dies, or anything like that. That is completely crazy and unprecedented in Mortal Kombat, because OTGs generally do not exist. Or it's just a weird slide move, and it's just Ermac string that is weird and leaves you in a combo okay state. Not sure, I guess we'll see. 
If it is an OTG move, that's ridiculous. Even if it isn't, it looks like it's a low, an ambush low. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? People already complained about Kung Lao hat being an annoying mix-up, and you have to set that up. If you can just ambush low at any point, do you know the havoc that that is going to wreak? People go for jump-ins and then they just summon him as their jump-in hits. Or they go for range forward 3-2 and hit low in between the two. Now that's going to that's gonna be funky if it's a low. And if it's an OTG, that's also going to be funky. I think later on here we also see him used in some more combo extending. Ermac is doing some beautiful, long, extended Ermac combos. And then at the end of it here, we see another ambush. And what's he doing? He, Oh, he's throwing something on the floor. It's a trap that stuns the opponent for a long time for a full combo. It's not just a little bit of chip damage or unblockable damage. It's not just a little, like, hit that launches the opponent away. No, it is a full stun from an ambush. So if you consider the closest thing in this game is Frost's Frost Orb, that takes like 60 frames or more to summon and slowly travels across the screen and gives you a really scaled frozen combo. This is an ambush. The amount of things that this could do is crazy. If you have a long string that you can summon this in the middle of, then like boom, easy plus frames can lead to a full combo. Or even if you just do a regular combo, you don't have to like make any compromises to get a setup because like as you do your ender, just also some of this and then boom, you've got this freaking mine on the floor that leads to full combos. That is like unprecedented levels of amazingness in, in this game and is definitely D DLC treatment. The next thing we see here is pretty uh, funky. It's hard to tell exactly what the point of this move is, but you know, I guess it's a full screen move. As you can see, Reptile's going for an acid spit here. And Ermac, it is a summon. It's the one summon we've seen of Mavados. Where Ermac goes into the summon stance for the first time. And Mavado just appears on the other side of the screen, grabs Reptile, grabs you, and slams you together. Which is kind of funky, but I believe this could actually be really quite strong. As you see, you get up from the opponent quite a bit before them, and you're left quite close to each other, so this seems like it's just a better version of Striker's Arrest. Because you know how Striker has that, like, summon move where he just grabs the opponent, like, arrests them for a bit. So, you know, it can be good in some zoning matchups, but this is an even better version because it seems like it might do a little bit more damage because there's some actual impact. It also brings you close together and gives you Oki, whereas Strikers, if you hit them full screen, you stay full screen and you're only like plus 30. But this, if you like to be a rushdown character, you say, hey, get over here, basically, in just a slightly awkward way where you face butt each other. Now, we have finally seen all the moves from Nevado, but we do see him do a few more things, whether they're pretty sweaty and cool and badass. So Ermac's going for the super long combo here, summons Mavado as an ambush while Reptile's been held in the air. Goes for this aerial string that will now switch sides and push the opponent down into the trap mid-combo. Keep in mind, it's not like Ermac had to do anything specific to set up that trap. He could have been doing anything while that happened. So you don't need anything that has a long stun like, you know, Sub-Zero freezes or anything. You can just do that whenever. The amount of characters that are going to be able to use a cameo like this is probably going to be ridiculous. And that is just a badass combo to show it off. We see his combo breaker here as well. Um, just is unique that the fact that it's actually a block breaker now, which is seems to be a new mechanic in the game. And then we get to see him go in for his fatal blow. It's just his... They seem to really like this animation. They give it to him for his ambushes, for his throws, and his fatal blow now. I guess it is one of the... F like his iconic thing, but he just does the grapple flying kick. He's got, yeah, like I said, what he's got it in that ambush attack, his throw, his fatal blow, and his fatality. So certainly a loved animation. <laughs> but yeah, that's all we get to see from Movado. He seems pretty ridiculous. Just to recap what we see. We see a bunch of ambush moves. We've got ambush flying kick in from behind to bring the opponent closer, number one. We've got ambush drop down to juggle opponents from the air or extend block strings. That's two ambushes so far. We've got ambush trap, 
which is a combo extending trap that's an ambush. It ridiculous. That's three ambushes. Then we've got that um, this freaking whatever this is that sliding kick, which is another ambush. Four ambushes, and it could potentially be a ridiculous OTG or a low, which would be ridiculous as an ambush. And that's four ambushes. I think that's all of them. And then we've also got the weird summon move where you kind of face slam each other into each other in a slightly cool get over here sense, which seems really useful, but looks kind of goofy. So that's a total of five moves he has, four of which are ambushes, and three of those ambushes seem completely broken. Oh, I can't wait to use this cameo. <laughs> I can't wait to use this cameo. But unfortunately, we have to wait till May, so I guess I'll see you there then. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.